This is Dr. C. Dexter Wise III with how to get victory over adversity. Well, one way is to understand why God allows the adversity of the adversary. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand on his person. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Job 1.12 the book of Job opens with the pronouncement in Job 1.1 that Job was perfect and upright in the sight of God. Nevertheless, not long after this line comes an awful onslaught of Satan. Clearly, this should not be. The righteous should have it better. The upright should have less trouble. The perfect should bear less pain. Isn't that the point? Live right and live rich? Why would God allow such a thing to happen to a person such as this? Of course, in order to know the real reason, we'll have to wait until we get to heaven to ask him directly. Still, here are some suggestions. God allows adversity from the adversary first to show us his place. That is to say, to show us God's place. It is in adversity that he comes to know and we come to know exactly the place he, God, holds in our life. Secondly, God allows the adversity of the adversary to put Satan in his place. The devil needs to know that there are those who recognize and regard him for what he really is, the prince of lies. Furthermore, they will continually refuse to bow to him under every and any circumstances. Then thirdly, God allows the adversity of the adversary to put us in a new place. Hallelujah. Yes, Job was attacked and suffered greatly. However, never forget that when he came out on the other side, not only was he in a new place, where he ended up was twice as good as the previous place. God is trying to show us his place, trying to put the devil in his place, and trying to take us to a new place.